Hi, it's Jess here from Nigeria Creates. Thank you for joining me today. Um, today's all about tickets. So these are all old tickets. Those aren't, but these are all old tickets. And these, I believe, are library tickets. Um, so these ones are from 1944 is date on those. Um, I've got some here that I got recently. Well, I say recently, a few months ago. Um, and these are all railway tickets. Um, I kind of bought a whole bundle of different things and these are in it. These are all a mishmash. I got these in an antique shop um, in Lyme Regis. And um, so some of them aren't even, um, some aren't this country. Um, I think that's from Rhodesia. So I, I've got lots of hotel receipts and that from um, sort of uh, Rhodesia and Canada and places so I think it was just somebody on their travels and they just kept them all so um, that's Liberty Transport um, so I thought let's recreate some tickets I was inspired by these I got these um, on the little ferry you get from Plymouth um, to Mount Edgecombe and I loved them I was like oh they look old so I thought I'm gonna make some and I have got what I think is the perfect paper now these are really really they're like they're on quite thick chipboard these just on little paper which is what I was thinking of making with them and that's what I thought when I bought this so I got this in a charity shop haul um, quite a while ago and it's an old scrapbook that we used to have when we were children and it is like sugar paper which is what I used to use in the classroom for brainstorming and things um, with the kids um, and, um, and they're all lovely colours and I just thought oh, that's very similar there got a nice sort of pinky colour that nice green um, and that's it so those are our those are our four colours and I thought perfect for making tickets I think I'm gonna just pull out one of each I don't imagine we're gonna make one of each today but you never know let's just Let's just get it pulled out. Probably a better way of pulling it out, Jess, so that you don't actually rip it. But hey ho, what's what's a bit of ripping between junk journalers, eh? So, but it was when I saw this, I thought tickets, and um, I am a little bit obsessed with tickets, and I have made quite a few different sort of styles of faux tickets my most recent one being being these but I used actual ticket stamps for these and I want to see if we can make our own I mean you compare those with with the real vintage they look pretty authentic but as I say I I want to see. Not everybody has the ticket stamps. We have other stamps. So I thought, let's um, let's see what we can make. So I'm just going to scooch them to one side. These were kind of my my inspiration. So um, I thought what we might do is chop some strips. So. This should handle this many. I keep turning it round. I turn you right round, baby, right round. There we go. Um, so they are just over, they're about an inch, not quite an inch and a half wide. So that's an inch and a half, you burp. So not quite an inch and a half. So we'll go slightly under. That's not straight there. It's quite hard to do that. I might go slightly under the three and then go in half. Will you do it? Yes, you will. So slightly under the one and a half. And it doesn't matter if they're not identical. There we 
go. So there's my strips. Well, we'll work on those for now. So we have got lots of strips. They look cool. Um, you could, matter of fact, we will. Let's do this kind of the easiest way. I should say you could use a school board or you could just fold. Let's fold these to make four tickets. That is the easiest way of doing it. Who needs tools? So we have got, that is a nice ticket size there. Yeah, quite liking that. They're a bit bigger than these, but I mean, they're all different sizes. They're about, yeah, that'll, that'll do nicely. So, so I'm just folding in half, folding in half again. Obviously, if you've got longer strips, you might fold in half, fold in half again, fold in half again. But this is... I'm gonna do so some of them I mean you've got like sort of an idea of a, a ticket shape which is kind of that sort of shape um, but some of them are just rectangles you know they haven't got different shapes on them so you know tickets come in all shapes and sizes we don't have one size fits all. So there we go. And uh, I have I have just set up my a scanner and um, on my coffee table so that whilst I'm watching telly, I've been going through some of my copyright free stuff that I've got to um, digitalize them so that I can use them over and over again. Ed doesn't mind the uh, the sound. He can't stand me printing if he's watching telly, but the scanner doesn't really make any noise. So I'm going to get these tickets scanned because because I think I can. I have oh, Sent, giving myself headaches with researching copyright but I think because it's typography I think we're all right I think we're all right with these some of them are really old so well I say really old you know they're like old enough old enough I think so and I think if I've scanned them and I can reuse them then I don't mind putting the originals in a journal and that's what I'm doing at the moment is I'm making a journal with original ephemera I may well have shown the end of that as I'm speaking now I haven't finished it um, and I do want to put some tickets in which is why I thought let's uh, let's get them scanned and then I can use them so, but I also thought, let's make some of my own. And I've just purchased a new stamp set, which I think will be perfect for it. Well, I've got two new ones, actually. So there they are. There they are done. I have this stamp set, um, Eccentric. Um, I was toying up between buying this one and the correspondence one. I went for this one because I thought it's got ticket on it. It's got some numbers. Lots of these got numbers on it. So I thought they'll be cool. Um, and um, yeah, and I want to make some. Um, I thought those for library cards, which would be cool. And um, those like um, baggage tags and things so that's why I bought these I, I blame um, Margaret on seven plazas she, she she made me she made me do it TikTok made me buy it she made me buy it 
but I mean I was going to buy a new Timmy Holtz anyway I've been having them on my wish list and um, um, so we want ticket for a while and they came down in price it's worth it I put things on your wish list on Amazon and um, I've not even used it and um, keep watching them and they, they fall in price so this is the second one so I've got one ready to go back to Amazon because it was split all the way across here this wasn't cut right there was a couple of others that weren't cut right so I messaged them and um, they put a replacement in for me and um, it arrived like three days later so you can't complain about that can you so I'm going to get out a couple of these numbers because tickets have numbers don't they I'll get them out uh, that number's got serial number should we put that on because we don't want them all the same uh, that's a weird number we'll have that uh, let's have these big numbers for going in the middle but I think that three might be too too wide oh no it'll go five won't though I doubt Oh no, let's just get it. Let's do it. Do that thing, Jess. Do that thing. What else have we got? What have we got at the top there? Oh no, I can't really see them. Uh any other numbers? Got a telephone number. Don't really want that, do we? 1913. Should we chuck that on? Let's chuck that on. So I mean, people say, I've heard people say like Tim Maltz is quite expensive. Yeah, he is. But you get loads on here. Absolutely loads. So, so I don't really mind. If I just split my, I have, I've split that, Jess. Idiot. Don't really matter. I might take that one and I can partially stamp. I should have thought about this before um, and got them out. I'm going to do that one because I can just stamp half of it. Don't have to stamp the full lot. So, yeah. Happy about that. I do love these dates. And there's a load of numbers there. I might take those load of numbers. As well, Actually, should have just peeled the whole lot off and pulled them off. Thank you. I think that's all I want off there for now. So let's sort of make a start. With our strips so got some numbers here I am gonna stamp with pebble path I think because as I always say when I use this it looks like a vintage black but use what you got so let's do stick that in the middle I have a row of tickets here, all pretty much the same. Um, let's have a three. I'm not, uh, not being too careful, which I probably regret that some of those are not quite in the right place. I'm going to do one without a number. That's a big number. We can make it work. Right. Let's put Let's stick these numbers on. 
right. Nice little number on the bottom there. I know for tickets, they're probably, they would change. They wouldn't all be the same, but you know. Let's be quick. go um quite like that little number there oh i've got a little six and a half cents there six and a quarter even right that little number will fit nicely underneath that big five yep liking that um might use that one On this one I'm kind of sort of looking at some of these to give me sort of ideas it was those sort of things that had lots of things going down not necessarily numbers but you know it's where I'm kind of getting getting my ideas from um i'm gonna run out of blocks in a minute i'm gonna have to uh oh let's have a ticket yes cooking on gas to be fair i'll go in i like the look of that I think they look cool. There we go. I'll have that one. Um, right. That's got packages written on it. So actually, this could be like some sort of postal one, I don't know. There we go. And then I might go for that letter parcel. Oops. And I'm thinking it's not it's not perfect, but I'm thinking that old things might not have been necessarily perfect. They might not have printed exactly, exactly straight. Um, let's have... Six and a quarter cents. These aren't going to be identical, but that is okay. Um, got a little date there. Should we put that on something? at the top of that one yeah liking that so those are quite cool I think they need something else I think that five's quite big but hey ho I'm running with it that's okay might need some other things on it um, we have got three little stars i watched julie use this set on cement can't even remember what and um she uh, she used these three little stars so so am i all right let's pull this off and get them out 
the stars were cut off as well in the original set. But so I've got a return code. I wasn't going to return it until until I received. The new one, check that that was all right. Like that, gonna gonna do that again because I like it. What fun! What fun, fun, fun! Right, should we have some stars on here? Gonna put it up the side. I've only got much room left on that one. There we go. Um, and then, where's my other brand new stamp set? There we go. So I got this one, and I thought there might be things on here I could use. Then again, maybe not. Uh, now then, this one. Signatures. I did think some signatures. Bought myself some A5 little doodars for these. Um, So these are pretty cool. You can get quite a lot from these. Um, do I want to do a nice little signature? Little signature on there. Might have them um, coming down the side there. Why not? Think they're looking good. Uh, could call them done. Could. Um, I think I want to put a signature on this one in that little space there. Just the starting of one. Um, no room on the others. Could put it there. There we go. So I think I might put something on the other side of this. Although, why don't I have a space? I've got spaces on them. Yeah, right. So, what I'm thinking is inking up that is sticking to my hand. I don't know why. So, ink up those little bits. On the end. Yeah, and of course I'll have to go down the edges. But I think that it's looking nice and um, some of them have got different colours, so I could have done that. Could have grabbed some different colour inks next time. Just wanted to 
try this out. See what it looks like. Right. Now, I've got... Got a little hole punch, so I'm thinking is eyeball for the middle and do that. That will then give us that sort of effect for a ticket. I might even go one bit further and go in on the corners. And there, nice little strip of tickets so that's thank you all around that's why I didn't go down the sides and then these could get ripped apart and just use a single ticket use the whole row for something So I thought it doesn't really matter that it's the same number because if I'm going to rip them off and use them in separate projects, it doesn't really matter, does it? So there. Got them. Cool. Liking that. Um, I'm, I'm going to do it again. Going to do that. Again, so I just went at each end on the corner and you could, if you've got a copper die, take the smallest hole and just punch a hole in it as if it's been as if it's been used. Gotta love that, haven't you? I am looking at that gap there and thinking should really have something in it. Could put something in it. It's a different colour. I'm gonna I'm gonna think about that. But there we go, there's that one. Um, do it again. And they don't take long, what have I been? Half an hour. And I could, I've got loads of other stamps. It's probably ones that field notes probably used. This does Ooh. there we go. That gives us a different shape. Fabulous. Yeah, liking that. So if you can't get your hands on real vintage tickets, make your own. Yeah, 
liking that. I'm just thinking that I'm going to draw a squiggly line. Don't know why. Just suddenly fancied drawing a squiggly line. Fill that gap. That works for me. I might now do it's not come out that well. Okay, double line and a ticket. So you don't have to have stamps. You might have really nice writing. So you could write on these. Move that a bit. Going over that one again. Just thoughts and ideas. I think I'm going to do that on this as well. On this ticket, I'm going to put a line under it. And then this one. Where I can, I'm going to draw a line down. I think that adds a little something. Might leave that one without any things in it, so I'll just ink round. So that is a quick set of vintage tickets inspired by those and taking influence from these. Didn't do me library cards, but I could maybe do those next time. Right, so let's make these ones up. I thought we might start with um, a label. Um, I bought these a while back. I stamped them all on acetate so I could see through. And that one, which is this stamp, more or less fits this. So I thought I might um, use it. So to help myself a little bit easier, I might fold them all up. I don't know why I did that. They've all come apart, but hey ho. So I am going to stamp my frame. I think that be a good place to start. And then just going to stamp it down yeah. and then I might trim them afterwards a cool start I think why don't we just go for ticket right in the center 
keep them simple. Does what it says on the tin. It's a ticket. There we go. I've got a nice ticket. Let's have a number. These could have been done without them being folded, but I'm liking that. And uh, let's have a little price. There we go. Liking that. Uh, little signature across them. And then I did fancy something along the top. So what do they say? Approved. Shall we have approved? Let's have approved. it's an approved ticket like that I was going to do things in different colors I forgot so I am going to just go over with that and then I'm just gonna I'm just gonna cut them simple enough cut a straight line could rip them actually Jess I think these look cool Really simple to cut up. There we go. Fabulous tickets. Loving these. So that is those little tickets. Love it how they turned out. Right, do some more. Because that was really quick. That took me seven minutes to make. Right, let's do some more. Shall we try a different colour? Um, uh, mm, mm. Mm. No, I'm going to stick to this because otherwise it means cleaning my stamps. I don't want to do that just yet. So, so these could have been done without folding them. I could have done them on a full sheet and cut them out afterwards, but Hey-ho, done now. Yeah, liking, liking, liking that. Um, I'm thinking I might have something French. Right. I've got 
so it'll fit in there. Oh, that one will. Patisserie. Would you have a ticket for a patisserie? I guess it might it might be part of the receipt. Potentially. Let's take that off. Let's pick that up a little bit better. In the look of that. Uh, let's put that's a I like I like I like that. Fancy. And then anything else grabs me fancy. That would fit in there. A little Paris would be nice. However, it's quite big. Uh, I've got a little Paris there with a year on it. Would that fit along the top? Not really. What could I put? Paris, I, think I might be able to. Right, I might have to get a little bit clever. I thought I had Paris on its own. I have got Paris on its own, Jess. It's just a little bit too big. Right. So I'm just going to ink up Paris. I'll put that on the side. Yep. Missed the S on that one. Just just want the date. Can't even see what I'm doing. So I'm just inking that up. There we go. So that is my little Paris. Boulangerie and patisserie from 1878. There's fancy for you. So I'm just going to age those and cut them out like before.
Okay, so I thought I'd go ahead and stick some more down. So that is those ones finished. Have I shown you them? Might have shown you them, I can't remember. Um, so I had a little thought whilst I was doing that. So here, I've got, that will fit on there. That is a garden. And I am thinking I might put that on a different colour. Um, difficult to know what will show up on here. Uh, something green on the green. Um, I'm looking at... Hmm, no, I'm looking at different greens. I'll go for this one, which is the one I was going to go for in the first place. Not that it's particularly showing up, but it is a different colour. Um, I was going to put ticket on it, but if it's in French, it's not going to be ticket. It's going to be a fillet, fillet, however you pronounce it. So we're not going to do that. Uh, what else could I do? I could use that Paris one, but in its entirety, actually. Oh, I've got another bigger Paris. What could we do here? Uh, numero? No, I don't want numero. No, we'll stick with that one. We will stick with that one. Um, I'm just thinking, do I want a red? Let's see what this red turns out like. Let's do it up the right way. Oh yeah, like that. I think this will look nice on the pinky as well. The pinky one. Yep, yeah, like that. Shall we have? Shall we just put the three stars in the middle? Yeah. I might do that in the red as well. So getting right in key. Um, let me just some of that cover off. I can't see through these, so yeah. Didn't do that one very straight because everything's sticking to me. It's blooming hot. There, like that. Do like that, right. And what we're going to do on the other one. So, as well as we add let's see. Going to do that one do that in the red. Gonna have so much fun cleaning all these stamps. Right, I want to be able to see this slightly better. So I'm going, what did I decide to do? Yeah, I'm gonna go across the middle. Cool. I want a number. I want a number on this one. Uh, 
I want that. I want a longish number. Longish number. What numbers could I have? Oh, I'm going to have that. Because that's like an address. And a date. Yes. We'll have that. And I might do that. In the green. Looking cool. Love it. Right, got that. And then, uh, do I want any of those things? I could just put Paris at the top. Let's just put Paris at the top. There we go. Yes. Love it. Love it, love it. Right, I'm going to get them all aged and cut out. So that is those tickets. I'm so glad I continued. I was going to stop. Orig originally, I stopped after the first lot. Um, and, then, and then I carried on. So that is... That is all my tickets. And I've literally been at it an hour. Obviously, it's not going to be... I need to clean this properly now. Um... It will be less time um, in the video because it will have speeded bits up. But yeah, I think those are very, very cool. So hope you enjoyed that. Hope you give it a go. Let me know what you think. Which tickets are your favourite? Think those are my least favourite. Loving these. Love them all. Love these. Yeah, that was that five's just a little bit too big, I think. But yeah. Don't forget to like and subscribe and press that little bell so you know when I'm uploading a video. And um, I will be with you again very, very soon with another project. Bye for now.